Hey everybody, welcome to the Soap Thing Project, or if you've been here before, welcome back. I want to thank everybody for joining me. So today, we're going to do a shave with the Holy Black. And this is from their Secret Stash, so it's a limited edition soap. This one has the scent that's called Super Hit. We'll talk about exactly what that means here in a minute. But before we do that, I want to sincerely thank Reed Zephyr for sending this over to me as a gift. I really do appreciate it. Reed does have a YouTube channel of his own. I will put it across the top of the screen somewhere, as well as in the description of the video. Reed also has quite a few aliases. Lather Whipster, Shave Cave, Blade Gap. I've been thinking about getting him a name of the day calendar so that he can keep track of himself. So let's talk about Super Hit from the Holy Black. This is a limited edition soap. It's not currently being produced, so price is a little bit of a moot point, I guess you could say. It doesn't say how much soap is in this, but it kind of looks like five ounces of soap to me. And the recipe is pretty simple. There's coconut oil and glycerin in it, and that's pretty much it as far as ingredients that I would consider high quality and promoting slickness. Now the scent on this is a Nag Champa scent, which basically amounts to frangipani and sandalwood is what makes up Nag Champa. They also put a little bit of vanilla in it to kind of sweeten things up a little bit, but we will talk about the scent in more detail during the shave. So that'll be the soap, is the Holy Black Secret Stash in the Super Hit scent. The aftershave, we're just going to chase it with some death by menthol in the form of fine accoutrements snake bite. And this is a pretty simple aftershave. It's just got alcohol, water, and menthol. And I'll tell you what, if you're trying to freeze your face off, this is probably one of the best ways to do it that's not going to irritate your skin. Unless you're really sensitive to menthol, it doesn't have any extra funny business in it. So if you're trying to get that good menthol kick, that crazy menthol kick, but you have sensitive skin, you might consider trying fine snake bite. As for the razor, we may as well bring the Blackland Saber in for another shave. And this takes gem PTFE blades. This is made out of 303 stainless steel. It's made here in the United States. It's quite an expensive razor. I think this retails for about 220 US dollars. I was lucky enough to score mine on a BST for about half of that. It was used. I think I paid about 110, 120 dollars for it. So definitely got a screeching deal on that. We're gonna use gem PTFE blades. We're gonna put one of those blades in the razor today. I have a used one. This is the actual blade that's gonna go in the razor, and this is gonna be the sixth or seventh shave on it. And if we have any problems with it, well, we'll just put a new one in. Moving on over to the brush, we're gonna use this AP Shave Co. Black and Clear Acrylic Synthetic Brush. And this is a 24 millimeter, and this is a G5B Boss Synthetic Knot. I really love this knot. They're, they're G5B and they're G5C knots are really good synthetic knots. I don't particularly care for synthetic knots, but if I must use one, I'm definitely gonna use a G5B or a G5C from AP Shave Co. And these handles are really inexpensive, so if you're trying to get into a nice brush at a really affordable price, check out AP Shave Co. And then finally, we're gonna chase the shave with some Bentley for Men Absolute. And the scent on this, is all pink pepper, frankincense, papyrus, and atlas cedar. So in practice, basically what this amounts to is a dry cedar and incense sort of fragrance. And I really, really love this. I would say that it's multi-seasonal for the most part, unless it's like the hot balls of summer. But any kind of cooler weather, you can pretty much pull this off. It's a really dry cedar and incense smell. And I love using this. It's one of my favorite cooler weather scents. And it's not that expensive either, if you can get it on discounters, but Bentley for Men Absolute. Okay, let's do a shave.
Okay, for a pre-shave, why don't we just go ahead and use this Razor Rock Lime pre-shave. It doesn't have any scent to it, hardly at all, so it's not gonna really disrupt the scent of the soap. And the Razor Rock Lime pre-shave hasn't been getting a ton of use anyway, so we may as well use it. Okay, get some water, work some of that in. We've got two days growth on the face today. Two days. Okay, here we have the Holy Black Super Hit lathered into my Langley City Shave Bowl. And the scent on it, once lathered. I'm gonna call this one four out of five. It's definitely screaming. So, really robust scent strength. All right, let's put it on. Now, I figured since the soap base recipe was so short, that it would probably be really glycerin heavy and therefore easy to lather. And it was. It was a very easy to lather soap. Should be pretty slick too. Anything that's glycerin heavy is usually pretty freaking slick. If glycerin is a primary uh, ingredient and you don't have a ton of, uh, of butters or tallow or duck fat or anything like that. Okay. Now, let me get my iPhone cheat sheet, which has my notes on it, and set it right there. And we have the Blackland Saber with a sixth use gem PTFE blade in it. Let's do a shave, here we go. And this blade is still going strong. I can tell you right now, this is still a very comfortable and very smooth blade. It's not as sharp as it was on day one, but it doesn't need to be. So let's talk about the scent of this super hit from the Holy Black. So frangipani and sandalwood and just a little bit of vanilla to uh, round out the edges. So mostly what I'm getting out of this is actually frangipani and vanilla, <laughs> believe it or not. I'm getting some sandalwood, some creamy, woody sandalwood, a uh, dry sandalwood towards the back of the, of the sniff. But when you first smell it, the main player you're going to get is frangipani. And frangipani is floral, slightly spicy, and dark fruity. It kind of has a little bit of a plum smell to it. Uh, I get actually some slight rose facets out of a lot of executions of frangipani. And so basically it's floral and dark fruity is, uh, is what you're going to get out of it. So what this scent would amount to is dark fruity, uh, sweet floral, and woody. Sterling has a seasonal soap that's literally called Nag Champa. So if you're looking for a scent like this, with this soap being not available, I'm gonna recommend you wait till fall when these Sterling fall seasonals come out and get you some Nag Champa from Sterling. That's gonna be my recommendation. I think I didn't use quite enough water to make this soap because I'm really getting a, a cloggy mess in the, uh, in the lather channels. So doing the second pass, we're gonna dip that in some water and see if we can loosen this up a little bit. Make a mess slinging water and lather all over, but 
If it's got to happen, it's got to happen. Hope everybody's doing great. Having the greatest shaves humanly possible. And I hope your shave is what makes your day. Because if it, uh, if you're having a rough day, then something as simple as a shave can improve on that. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Oh, let me let's take a pause for the cause for a couple seconds and let me rinse this out real quick. Okay, so I actually had to dump my sink full of cold water and put hot water in it to get this to, to rinse out better. And hot water is not ideal for my skin, but it shouldn't be too bad. Between that and adding a little bit more water to the soap, should be good to go. For pass number two. Okay. This is a really enjoyable shave on two days of growth. On uh, 24 hours of growth, I gotta be careful, I've mentioned this before. But I'm actually really enjoying using this on days when I can get two days of growth. And because of my job, that only happens once, maybe twice a week. Because I'm required to shave every day for my job. But I'm noticing I get a more comfortable shave more reliably with this razor on two days growth. And the, the more you use a razor, the more confidence you're going to get with it. And so you can get a more satisfying shave more easily and more quickly the, the more you use it. Not that you really should be trying to rush through a shave like this. But it's not going to be like a slow motion shave, quite like it would be when you're using something for the first time or you're nervous about using it. Let's have a rinse. Ooh, wee. That's some hot water. I used to be a hot water shaver pretty religiously and I was getting skin irritation and redness and all sorts of problems after a while and then I switch to exclusively cold water, like as cold as I possibly can, uh, all the time. No matter what temperature it is in the house, no matter what temperature it is outside, no matter what season, doesn't matter. Cold water. <clears throat> and ever since then, whenever I do use hot water, it actually feels kind of repulsive. It's not super comfortable and not very refreshing. So that's just my personal opinion for the grain of salt that it's worth. And it does look like this is a really close, really satisfying shave with little to no irritation. So that's a good day on the Soap Thing project. Let's take a look at what the ProRazzo Ellen Block has to say about it. We'll put this in the water, put some water on the face. And I'm not getting any feedback anywhere, so this is a good day on the Soap Thing project. Okay, so I'm gonna empty this sink full of hot water and I'm gonna splash my face, my, seriously. I'm gonna splash my face with some cold water to get my face ready for this fine snake bite and then we're gonna put it on, so stay tuned. Okay, so Matthew Lawrence has a dirty habit of forgetting to use his ice cube. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do it for him. I got your back, bro. Matthew Lawrence has a YouTube channel also. I will put it across the top of the screen. I'm putting a lot of people across the top of the screen lately. Oh yeah, that feels great. I need to do this more often. Okay, set that aside. And let's put some fine snake bite over top of that. I can't imagine how this could go wrong. I love fine snake bite. I am a menthol. <laughs> Head. A menthol addict 
And so let's see how satisfying this is. Oh God, yeah. Holy crap. Ooh wee. Oh, here it comes. I can feel it. Feel that cooling effect. Feels great. I'm ready for the for the frigid effects. Holy crap, <laughs> it's kicking in. Love this stuff. Okay. Now my final thoughts on Holy Black Secret Stash in their super hit scent. So if this were ever available again and I was out of this, would I buy it? Yeah, I think I would. I didn't know what Nag Champa really was until I got this in my shaved in and had to do some research on it. And I really like how it smells. I do believe Nag Champa is used to make incense, so it has a really interesting incense sort of smell with the uh, frangipani and the sandalwood and the vanilla. It's really relaxing and soothing and just kind of mellow sort of scent. It's good stuff. If anybody's making a Nag Champa scent, I recommend you get your hands on something to experience this sort of scent because it's good to go. Love this stuff. Okay. Holy crap, that menthol is getting in my eyes. So, but wait, we're not done yet. We gotta use Bentley for men, absolute. So let's take this off and put it on. I cannot get over this huge bottle with this itty bitty little pea head atomizer. Isn't that goofy looking? Anyway, love the scent of this. And I think this is a pretty good performance banger. I mean, I get every bit of 10 hours out of this. And the longevity and the projection, like I said, longevity is about 10 hours and it projects pretty moderately. I mean, it's more than arm's length distance out. I mean, people can smell you pretty good. It's good though. Love the scent of this. Really good cedar and incense. So if you like cedar, definitely pick up some Bentley for Men Absolute. Okay, that'll be the shave for today. <laughs> I'm getting this oh, menthol in my eyes. Okay. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.